is going on? It's been again. And it's been a while since I've done any sort of trying out OS video. I think it's been like a few weeks since I've done the Windows XP trying out video. So I decided I'd like to do something a little different, a little out of the ordinary in terms of operating systems. Today we are going to be trying out Windows Longhorn. Well, code name Longhorn. It's apparently the beta of Windows Vista, which was hated and very negatively received. So today we're going to see, I mean, because this is still kind of based off XP. So we're going, and I mean, this is the beta of Vista. So let's see if it gets my approval. So anyways, I'm not going to waste any more time in wasting this time with this intro. Let's get to it. So I'm just going to start this up. And apparently I had, okay, so apparently I had already like gotten the virtual machine up, running a new operating system, not going to tell you guys what it is. You guys are just going to have to wait. <laughs> anyways, so it found some hardware wizard or whatever. So anyways, I just want to add, this is Windows Longhorn build 4074. No, no, just go away. So this is codename Longhorn evaluation copy build 4074. So there were a lot of features that were later introduced to versions of Vista 7, 8, and even 10. So let's take a look at the start menu since that's where we always start. Hey. So anyways, it's very similar to uh, something like that you would see in XP. It's got this little design, not any like the start button that's in, in Vista or 7. Looks very similar to XP. I mean, the icons are very similar. Take a look at Media Player. I do not care about Media Player Sims. Just... Yep, and it still looks similar to the one used in XP. This is very based off XP. How could this be the beta of Vista? It looks nothing like Vista. I mean, there's this big, huge, like, notification area here. I mean, here you can show the time. It is 1.34 in the morning. Well, not really, but uh, April 24th. And <laughs> so it's stay current with automatic updates, even though there aren't any. I have 60 days left to activate it, even though I already activated it. Use the correct serial number from WinWorld PC. I mean, I can search for things like let's search for documents. File containing text documents. Uh, I don't have time for this. Anyways, let's actually see if we can connect to the interwebs. Microsoft.com slash ISAPI on here. I just want to load up. If I go to Google, you can see that tiny little bar in the corner is not moving whatsoever. Oh, it just had another. I'm not waiting for this. I'm just going to X out of here. Maybe we can come back later, but MSN Explorer. It's email. It's Outlook Express. I mean, there's computer music games. Games? Oh, yeah. Minesweeper. Oh, free cell. All right. Let's get out. Oh, oh, there is Minesweeper. Internet speeds. Internet versus internet hearts. That back game and spider solitaire. Solitaire. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, the email thingy load up. Someone at Microsoft.com. Oh, what if I actually sign up for this as someone at Microsoft.com? No, I don't care. No, I don't, I don't know. What, no, I, I don't care. Yeah, I want to exit the wizard. If I have to exit a wizard, Gandalf better pop out and scream at me, You shall not pass, or something ridiculous. Anyways, I want to play solitaire. That's all I want to do in this bloody virtual machine. Aw, yeah, let's go. Windows Longhorn, baby. No, I'm sorry. I'm playing I'm such a boss at solitaire. Okay, I'm bored of this. Ooh, I got an ace. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with this year. But um, did Google load up yet? No, it did not. Man, slow as. Anyway, so photos and videos play slideshow. I to print this file, so it looks very different from something that you would see in XP and Vista. Because remember, this was the bridge between Windows XP and Windows Vista. So we're looking for that little bridge in the center of the beta of Windows Vista. So yeah, keep in mind this was not released to the public. It's like getting a little. Still hasn't loaded up. <laughs> Contacts. Man. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. <laughs> I 
Help and support. Welcome, administrator. I'm the administrator. You're home for technical support and customer care. So browse through options, ask others, frequent issues, how to use the recycle bin. How to use the recycle bin. That's ridiculous. Who needs to ask that? Who just asked, how do I use the recycle bin? That's crazy, but hardware and devices. I'm just like opening up random things just to actually get the, no, I, I well, actually, so I do have a CD drive of VirtualBox guest editions. That's how, how I'm able to get this bit of a, more of a screen than would usually be available. I already used up 50, almost 50% 50 of the virtual disc, games, contacts, photos and videos, et cetera, et cetera. But I mean, here is my hardware. You can see we have CD-ROM, disk drive, standard VGA graphics adapter, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna get out of here, you know, I'm back to, I kind of like this uh, wallpaper, but if you write the names in it, you can arrange things by different ways. Um, Back to, yeah, it's, I already got, I already show you guys the recycle bin. Nothing, man, I'm just like, yeah, this might be. Oh, actually, yeah, let's look at the calculator. That's one thing I love to look at. Just like as we go through different systems, there's an on-screen keyboard though. That's actually really cool. <laughs> it's just like the little window symbols that are just so horribly out of line. Looks like a fourth grader drew it, but you know, I wanna go back to the calculator. Let's see that, add to new information. Man, where is that bloody calculator? I mean, here's WordPad. This, no, go away. I don't want you, okay. Look at this. Ah, oh, stupid search. Okay, so we're gonna search. Ah, why does it? Okay, this is a test. Ah, I hate this stupid shortcut. This is not a test of WordPad. Okay, let's just save the bloody thing and be on our way. Uh, save it to the desktop. There we go. All my furiousness has been out. So I can run something. That's uh. That's interesting. I really want to see the gosh darn calculator. Um, calculator, calculator. Oh, here it is. So, it's, so we can just add nine, nine. It's just like all these times nine. Okay, but um, yeah, so you can say plus one and there's your answer. Hi guys, it's just like, this is the one that looked like it from Longhorn. Oh. Hooray for error messages. So this is the one that looked like it in Longhorn. It had a different design, different everything. Yeah, it, again, it looks like similar to XP. It looks nothing like the one that was in Vista. How is this even the beta of Vista? It looks nothing like Vista. I mean, yeah, it just looks like a modified XP. If you go to control panel, we get all these options, even parental controls, like parental controls, which was eventually in Vista. How do you want to control your limit the games they can play? Nah, that's for noobs. Anyway, performance, power options. See, we can choose what we want to do. That's actually fairly, fairly interesting. We just go to, I just want to look up like all the things. So there are Windows update, even though there aren't any. If I want to activate Windows, then it'll take me to, let's activate Windows. I don't want to activate Windows right now. <laughs> I'm just going to just look around and go to help and support. Welcome, Matt. Oh, Al's already here. Again, how to use the recycle bin. That's kind of dumb. But, I mean, it's actually pretty interesting. I actually use this. Very interesting indeed. Let's look at the old music. So, I mean, this fluctuated a lot of times during the development of Windows to what it is now. But this is what it looked like. I kind of wish I did have, like, a little bit of music I could put on this virtual disc to show you guys what I'm talking about. <laughs> Unfortunately not, but eh, that's okay. I, I hope all these games, startup accessories. Oh yeah, paint, let's paint something. So as you all know, I am a very high quality drawer. As you guys know, I make the best quality stick figures that you can um, not purchase on the market right now. And yeah, so I'm probably the best drawer that ever, ever existed. There you go. Here is this masterpiece. Just put my initials right there. Perfect, perfect. And I'm going to save it as, and I'm going to save it as untitled and kabam. We'll save to the desktop. I wonder if it will.
Oh no, it didn't. Oh well. Anyways, uh, still game to. I mean, that, that, I wonder if um it will still be supported. No, I'm just kidding, guys. But I can obviously search for things. All clear features that eventually made it to Windows to what it is now. Um, yeah, like MSN Explorer was a slow button. Would you like to get on the internet and write email through the start menu of MSN Explorer? No, I don't, you stupid MSN butterfly. Go away. Anyways, <laughs> I mean, this was like, look, you can modify this little tray here, which is actually pretty interesting. You could minimize the bar if you'd like, so now we have a bit of room to work with. Here was the old notification system that now you can bring it up again, but I'm going to put it back down. And yeah, so you would have, and then you would have access to all these tiny little things that don't want to open right now. Here's the, some notifications. Yeah, so it's actually pretty interesting. And it was a lot of fun working with this system. I know I didn't dig too deep into this, but I mean, this is just all what I wanted to show you guys. Not really much, but I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I just want to see if it can recognize my system, like about this PC. Let's just go to my system. Like, can it recognize? Oops, Magnifier is not running. All these things aren't running. The Microsoft Narrator. I actually always wondered, like, if Microsoft Sam, the Texas Beach Voice, who was famous, like, I wonder if he's still in here, but no, probably not. But you guys can look that up for yourself. Let me know in the comments. But I actually wondered, like, if this, yeah, local disk. Yeah, it does not look like I can be able to see my info, but is this copy of Windows legal? Oh gosh, that would, I would hate to have this illegally. But yeah, as you can see, this was made in 2004, and yeah, so I am pretty much done here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little exploration of Longhorn, but for now I'm going to shut down. Goodbye, Windows Longhorn. Or why isn't it showing now? Why isn't it showing? Okay. There we go. Logging off, shutting down Windows services. And yeah. It takes a long time to shut down. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I did want to get a little bit of a different video out to you guys. Um, Longhorn was never released to the public, so I just thought it would be interesting to see what you, what you guys thought. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching, and this has been Vasquez, signing out.